Hello friends and welcome to another Up For Adventure. We're back at Disney Magic Kingdom. It's been a while, but we're gonna have uh, something a little bit new for this channel. Ever wanna see the fireworks and have your cake and eat it too? Well, there's a way you can do it. Free post fireworks are the seat, eats and treats. Seats and treats, I'll get it right. That's what I'm gonna do, and it's me, just me, because the fam's over at Fort Wilderness enjoying our RV, so be up for that adventure too. So come along with us as we do, I'm gonna do the post party fireworks adventure. Let's do it. Now everybody knows who wants to really enjoy fireworks here from Magic Kingdom. Being in the hub is really one of the things that's probably best experience. However, it gets crazy here. People start shoving and pushing, so the dessert parties are one option. And you check in at the uh, pre and post dessert party and the treats and seats. And I might get that always backwards. Seats and treats, treats and seats. That's right there. So those people now paying a little bit more get to sit down and watch the fireworks. We've done that once uh, before as well. The pre and post people now, they check in, they'll do their little pre or post over there. And what's the advantage of one? Well, the pre of the party is go and you get to have your desserts and then once you're done you go out and sit at or get your post your spot out there in the garden the post now i get to check in at 8 20 get to go ahead and stock out my place there in the garden and then i'll have the desserts after the fireworks here's what i mean tomorrowland uh, terrace magic kingdom fireworks dessert parties pre-post seats and sweets i got it all wrong post party mama's gonna love me that's why she needs to come to me with these things so there's the seats and sweets right over there and here's where you'll have the pre and post over here. Essentially the same things. There's not much difference in the desserts. All right, so here's the uh, garden area. As you can see up there is where the handicap um, designated area is. Now they used to when they didn't fill out so much up there, they let the open these gates. People could already go ahead and go up there. But if it's full up there, full up there, they won't let you do that. But you can see it's a pretty decent size. And you can see there's a real good shot. Just got the pole in front of us. So you got some obstructive view, but still the bottom line here is you're not getting pushed and shoved. That's the bottom line. It's nice.
Let's take a look at the drinks now. Martinelli sparkling cider. And some pog juice, strawberry lemonade, minute made tea. And water. Alright, let me show you a little bit of what I got. I don't remember everything. I do remember this is the butterscotch popcorn. That's so good. Key lime right there. That's like a chocolate mousse right there. And then I can't remember what this is. I'll have to go back and look at the different signs, but... All right, so that will do it for our post-party dessert firework extravaganza. Always a fun way. I mean, look, the food is good. Uh, it's, it's okay. The peanut butter popkin uh, corn dessert and the uh, lime little pie thing is always good. But really, you're paying for the fact that you kind of have a little bit more preferred view of the fireworks. And I got to tell you, I cannot... I forgot how good Happy Ever After was. Wow, I, I really did. I, I forgot how good it was. So that said, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as we are up for adventure. And as we always say, onward to our next adventure.